Let me begin by thanking the bipartisan group of U.S. governors who convened this meeting. Few challenges facing America and the world are more urgent than combating climate change. The science is beyond dispute and the facts are clear. In various uh, papers, you were debating the differences of what was causing what, and, you, and you, to a certain extent you still are, is that correct? Oh, sure, that is, is always okay. going on, yes. So this isn't settled science? Well, there, there are many aspects of it which are settled. And, um, and what are those the, aspects that are totally settled? Name one aspect that is totally settled in the science. The, the climate forcing that which drives the climate change, many parts of that are quantitatively very well settled. And carbon dioxide is the largest forcing, and it's now the fastest growing forcing. And it is, is going to dominate the future global climate change. That's become very clear. I've got an article from October 8th, New York Times Magazine, about a firm called Kleiner Perkins, a capital firm called Kleiner Perkins. Are you aware of that company? <laughs> well, yes, I'm a partner in Kleiner Perkins. So you're a partner in Kleiner Perkins. Okay. Now, they have invested <laughs> about a billion dollars in 40 companies that are going to benefit from cap and trade legislation. So is the legislation that we are discussing here today, is that something that you are going to personally benefit from? I believe that the transition to a green economy is good for our economy and good for all of us. And I have invested in it, but every penny that I have made, I have put right into a nonprofit, the Alliance for Climate Protection, to spread awareness of why we have to take on this challenge. And Congresswoman, if you're if you believe that the reason I have been working on this issue for 30 years is because of greed, you don't know me. No, sir, I'm not making accusations. I'm asking questions that have well, been asked of me and individuals, constituents that were seeking a point of clarity. So I am asking I understand you exactly what you're doing, Congresswoman.